Right now, people are gathering to honor and remember the life of Rayshard Brooks. A public viewing is taking place at the Atlanta church where Dr. King once preached. Brooks uh, died over a week ago after a police officer shot and killed him in that Wendy's parking lot. And that officer, Garrett Rolfe, faces 11 charges, including felony murder. Brooks's funeral will be tomorrow for friends and family, but today the public is getting a chance to pay their respects. And we have Ryan Young live in Atlanta for us. And Ryan, uh, I know you've got some guests next to you. Tell us, tell us why people are are coming out to, to honor him. Well, you think first things first, Brooke, you know how much people respect this area of Atlanta when it's attached to Dr. King, the eternal flame across the street with Dr. King and Coretta Scott King in the crypt. So, so many people identify the civil rights movement with this area. Of course, Rayshawn Brooks's body was brought in earlier. We have some pictures of that as it arrived. The family arriving here about 35 minutes ago. And you can honestly understand that people in this community are hoping for a bit more peace this week. I can report that I've been told that there have been less sick outs today from the Atlanta Police Department, a source telling us. But you have to talk about moving forward. Have these two guests with us. Uh, Dante, you've been here and lived in the city for quite some time. When you saw the pain from last week, how do you think moving forward, this city can make a change? I think we have to start, a, a start by addressing the pain. You know, we're humans and we gotta start looking at the humanity. And I think that's the biggest thing that I see. I'm here with my little girl, she's two years old. You know, these are the things that as a father that I care about. You know, before I'm a business owner, before I'm anything, I'm, I'm a father, I'm a husband. And I, I just, I want my daughter to know that, that she can grow up and that her life is gonna be valued just like everybody else that we grow up with. Absolutely. Gerald, you've been out there fighting in the streets for years in terms of bringing some of this stuff to light. Atlanta went through a lot of pain last week. What do you think will happen now and what do you call for officials to do to make a significant change in the city? Well, I think Atlanta is witnessing what the rest of the country has gone through. And I think that we have to recognize there's a police brutality problem here and we need legislation to address it. We need to make sure that policies reflect the will of the people. And I think Atlanta will respond appropriately. So I'm hopeful. One last quick question. Obviously, the funeral's happening tomorrow. What do you expect? I expect to see an outpouring of, uh, of, of hurt and pain, but love and, and reflection on where we've been and where we're going. So I, I know Atlanta knows how to respond in these situations, and I think we'll respond appropriately. I want to thank both of you gentlemen so much, and especially the little girl here. Yeah, Obviously, you. Brooke, people have been talking about this through the streets. When the Wendy's burned down, there was a lot of people upset about the loss of jobs and in that community, which is a food desert. But there's been a lot of conversation about how do we move through it for as a community and not worry about buildings and worry about people's lives. That is a continuous conversation that's happening in the city. Of course, there'll be a lot more talk about what happens to the next two officers. But today and tomorrow is supposed to be about Rashad Brooks. And as you mentioned, funeral tomorrow. Let me ask you just on the, a bit of news. We know that the Georgia Medical Examiner just released that full autopsy report. What does it say?